So it's in uh, A harmonic minor. And then bend one and a half. All right, do that again. Now I'll switch to D harmonic minor. Now here, from the C sharp, you gotta do diminished arpeggios like these. And bend one and a half. So it would sound like this. And then go back to the other one. Now that same diminished pattern. Again, a little slower. It goes into this really heavy riff. Now here you have to do six tuplets, which is very fast. So Alright, so here's the riff. Then it goes into the next melody, which is basically E Phrygian dominant. So, here we go. Now comes the first uh, fast run part. And now with the Y bar, you know, pull up, create that jerky sound. So. Second time. Next part. Now that gets repeated up an octave. Next. Next uh, section. Now here comes a very tricky section. It's basically, 
you know, these shapes moved up and down. So one is here, and the other one is on C, so they move up and they move in major seconds. So. And then it goes back to the... Starts with the uh, second melody again, just uh, and that is harmonized with uh, an octave, so now comes uh, the Marty solo, which is mainly in. E frigid dominant. He adds a you know a couple of passing notes here and there, but let's get to it. So you can see right there, he's adding a C sharp, right, which is not really part of E frigid dominant, but he adds it in there, so. goes to here now comes a diminished arpeggio very fast so Then goes then goes to this position. You got these chromatic things here. Then goes the E major triad. Slide up to G triad. And then Kind of like a pentatonic arpeggio. So, and then G sharp on top, and then from G, bend almost like a minor third. All right, so. And it go, goes back to the harmony. And then the A frigid dominant. Now he does diminished power chord, and he does it uh, one here and the other one here, so they move in minus seconds, right? So you got this sound. Oh. Slide back. It goes into this uh, groove where you play five notes inside the beat. So one, two, three, four, five. 
So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So basically, the top note changes. So you got F sharp, G and A, and you're going. And then you change the top note. So. So you have to downstroke it. So that's the low guitar and the high guitar there's an octave higher. Then it goes into the next section, which is basically in G major. major arpeggio A minor and on the arpeggio he actually does a trail then the, that melody goes again and he does a whole Hard with arpeggios going with it. So, first we start with uh, E minor, change position, A minor, change position, then D major starting on F sharp, shift to D major up here. And then E minor again. And then a fast triplet. And then again, eighth notes. And then D major. G major. Major here, and then an E minus seven, then triplets, then C major, A minor, D major descending, G major ascending. And there's a triplet scale in E minor. And then you got the last part. And then a D major arpeggio. And then. Then F sharp minor starting on A, A major starting on A, then D major, E major, and then here bend two all steps, and then bend back to F sharp. <laughs> 